there is a place, a very special place. Swing palms, white sandy beaches, warm crystal clear water, home to thousands of reef fish, a sacred place, a place where you can pay tribute to past heroes and learn a little of their battles, a place where you can cross a lagoon that you will never forget, a place where you can stay and eat in five-star luxury or get away from it all in a homestay over water, a place that embraces the future but still holds on to the past and its traditional culture. Welcome to the Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands, islands adrift in time, a place time passed by. However you describe the Solomons, the Solomons are so Solomons, so different. Honiara, the capital of the Solomons, is only a three hour flight from Brisbane, Australia. Modern aircraft from four different careers fly into Honiara, meeting the needs and schedules of today's traveler. Air New Guinea, Fiji Airlines, Virgin Australia, and the flagship Solomon Airlines. The airport is eight kilometers from Honiara CBD. Honiara is a melting pot of different cultures from all parts of this island nation. Today, Honiara has all the facilities expected by tourists. A range of banks with ATMs, two telecommunication providers, modern shopping centers, cafes, and juice bars. Mambo Maji. Mambo Maji. Honiara is changing, but some things remain the same. A must for the traveler is to visit the main market, which has everything on offer. Fresh fish, vegetables, crabs, handicrafts, and a sea of faces from all the provinces of the Solomons. Please ask before taking photos or videos as Solomon Islanders are very shy people. Solomon Islanders are renowned for their artwork and carvings. Visit the open air art gallery in the heart of Honiara where the artists are pleased to talk and show off their treasured pieces. Other handicrafts are also on offer on the many street side stores and shops in the city centre. In 1942, World War II's bloodiest and longest campaign saw the loss of nearly 38,000 lives and the turning point of the war in the Pacific. Some of the fiercest fighting of the war took place in and around Honiara. Names like Bloody Ridge, Red Beach, Skyland Ridge and Henderson Field will live long in the memories of both sides. There are many battle sites and relics of the war to be found not only here but throughout the Solomon Islands. Vilu War Museum, 20 minutes west of Honiara, attracts visitors wishing to get up close to guns, planes and other relics from World War II. Guided battlefield tours are very popular. Memorials to both the Americans and the Japanese can be found overlooking Honiara on Skyline Ridge and Mount Austin. An American memorial has the battles well documented and graved on slabs of granite. Here you can spend hours reading about the conflicts. The Japanese memorial is simpler, a place to reflect and pay respect for those lost in the battles around Godel Canal. Formal ceremonies are conducted for visiting Japanese to honor the fallen. Want a change of pace? Scuba diving can be enjoyed right off the beach. Here at Bonege Beach, you can dive on the wrecked Japanese freighter. It's an easy dive with plenty to see. For the more adventurous, a trip across Iron Bottom Sound to the wrecks of Tulagi is a must. This area is littered with both American and Japanese ships. Dives here cater for the beginner and the dedicated wreck diver. As a bonus, the coral reefs here are stunning. If you like things above the water, we have you covered. A 30 minute 4x4 four four trip through stunning jungle leads you to the starting point for rafting on the Lunga River. This is a great activity with all safety gear supplied along with lunch. This 4 hour 20 kilometer trip passes through untouched rainforest. At the end, you are picked up and taken back to your hotel. Perfect. Accommodation options in Honiara include newly opened heritage 
Park Hotel, the recently refurbished Mendana, and the King Solomon, just to name a few. Both the Mendana and the Heritage Park are on the waterfront to take advantage of the cooling breezes. The King Solomon Hotel features stunning local carvings in the reception area. A small rail car takes you and your luggage up the steep climb to your room. Looking for a tropical island paradise type holiday? Go west. Domestic air travel within the Solomons is a breeze. Islands and coral reefs can be seen from your aircraft, giving the visitor a brief glimpse of what's to come. The one hour flight from Honiara to Gizo is over way too soon. Landing on an island airstrip at Nusa Tupe, tourists are transported to the mainland by boat. Here in Gizo, you are once again treated to the delights of an open-air market. Fruits, vegetables and other essentials are always available, along with a local favorite, betel nut. It has a slight narcotic effect and colors the user's teeth bright red. Hotels, banks, and medical facilities are located in Giza. Getting away to one of the nearby resorts will transport you to your tropical island dream holiday. Sunbis is an eco-friendly resort, Solomon style. No gym, no spa, no pool, no worries. The rooms are traditional style with mosquito nets, the views over the pristine waters. Tropical gardens surround the rooms, adding privacy and serenity. The waters surrounding Sandbys are a snorkeler's delight. And not far away, the wreck of the Japanese cargo ship, the Toa Maru. This is a great dive with lots to see. In 8 meters of water is the Hellcat fighter. This plane is intact and is a great dive to finish up the remaining air in your tank. If fish is your passion, Base yourself at Zipolo Hambu Resort, located on Lola Island. The resort is once again traditional in style with spacious, self-contained rooms and great views. Dinner in the Leaf Hut main building is always a delight, with local fresh seafood and order of the day. Local guides take the visitors out to the hot fishing spots and results are almost guaranteed. No visit to this area is complete without a visit to the Skull Island. This is a sacred place, a final resting place of great chiefs and warriors from the surrounding islands, a shrine to the bygone era of fierce headhunting raids. Traveling by water always has some surprises. The locals are only too happy to show off their catch before heading to the markets. For the scuba diving enthusiasts, there is no better place on earth than Yupi Island Resort. Located on the edge of Marovo Lagoon, Yupi is the diver's mecca. Hundreds of species of fish can be found here, stunning coral gardens, deep drop-offs with huge fans, sharks, manta rays and turtles can be seen, sometimes on the same dive. Most divers are within a five-minute boat ride from the resort. 29 degree water with amazing visibility. Fish cleaning station, clownfish hiding amongst the anemone and parades of schooling fish are all on show here. Snorkelers can enjoy these sights just as much as the tank divers. At the front of the dive shop, a coral reef drop off to around 50 meters is home to amazing schools of fish, the black tip reef sharks. You can spend hours snorkeling here and never tired of the scenes before you. Other activities on UP include stand-up paddle boarding, sea kayaking and interesting jungle walks through rainforests with amazing plant life. UP Island Resort is a tropical paradise within a tropical paradise. The plants around the resorts are amazing, providing interest and privacy between the rooms. Every week, local carvers come to the island from surrounding villages to show off their skills and sell exquisite carvings. These are not to be found anywhere else in the world. If you are lucky, a local may scale a coconut palm to collect a cool, refreshing drink for you. 
very special. In the late afternoon, a quick game of beach volleyball is just the thing to build up your appetite. If you still have some energy left, a sunset sail may just be in order. Back in Honiara, treat yourself to more great food and entertainment. Local panpipe bands are exciting to watch. Everyone loves them. The Solomon Islands offers a totally different style of holiday for those travelers who hunger for something new and refreshing. Traditions passed down over the years still carry on and coexist with the new ways of the Solomon Islands. Come visit us. So Solomons, so different. Mm -hmm.